welcome to netis tutorial and today we will look some troubleshooting steps if we have done all the configurations in this router but still we are not getting the internet okay so we will look some troubleshooting we will follow some steps here so this is modem connected to the WAN port this is laptop or desktop connected to the LAN port this is power adapter connected to the power port and after switching on this device this router we will just check the WAN LED this is the WAN LED okay so if it's on so that means it's okay this is good and uh, if it's not on so we will just verify the connection so we will verify this connection between modem to router and uh, we will just disconnect this ethernet cable and again we will reconnect this cable and we can change this cable and uh, first of all just we will make sure this modem is working properly so we will connect this modem to the laptop directly okay and if you are getting the internet so we will just again we will connect to the van port and if you are getting the LED status but still we are not getting internet so we will go for the second step and second step we will just open the configuration page of this netis router and we will just check the status and uh, to see if the routers van port has successfully obtained an IP address or not okay so we will check the IP address on WAN side 192.168.1.1 click on advance this is the WAN side click on connect Some IP addresses must be display here. This is the LAN side IP address 192.168.1.1. This is NetIS router's IP address. Refresh the page. We are getting this IP address 192.168.1.3. The gateway is 192.168.1.1. The gateway is 1.1 means the modem also having the same IP address. Okay, so this is NetIS uh, router also having the same IP address 192.168.1.1. This modem also having the same IP address. This is WAN side. This IP address coming from the modem. Okay, so that means our internet will not work. Yeah, it's not working. We cannot get the internet. So first of all, we need to change the IP address of this NetIS router because if uh, we having the WAN side and LAN side same IP address series, so we cannot use the internet. So to change the IP address of this NetIS router, we will just click on network LAN and we will change the IP address. It should not be one. Okay, we can change one. Uh, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Okay, but it should not be 1. 1 and 2, 1, 1. We have changed. The router will be restart. After restarting the, uh, this router, so we will open the page uh, through this uh, 192.168.10.1. Restarted, yeah, we can check here. This is IP address has been changed to 192.168.10.1. Clicked. If you are not getting page, you just type the IP address 192.168.10.1 Advance Okay, now this is IP address or LAN 192.168.10.1 And one side is 192.168.1.1 So that means our internet will start work 
yeah okay so make sure the lens side and when side the ip address should not be same series and uh, third step we will just make sure that we are using the same uh, we are using some correct method okay and uh, because our isp giving internet in the different method dynamic ip address pp triple poe or static ip addresses so we will just check in the when network click on network when so these are the method inter in internet method this is dscp static ip triple poe okay these are the main method three main method okay so we will select the correct method if we don't know the method method so we will just contact to our isp internet service provider and we will ask all the parameters if dscp so that means save that i am using this uh, my modem is using this dscp method and static ip address if uh, our isp internet service provider given some ip address series okay so we will just put all the ip address all the configuration parameters here when ip subnet gateway dns dns we will click on save okay and uh, triple poe if uh, isp given sub username and password we will put here and we will just click on connect automatically and click save okay so but my my uh, when method is dscp click on save so make sure you are using the correct method and correct uh, parameters and uh, fourth step some cable modem uh, using the mac clone feature okay so we need just first uh, we will make sure this that our isp using this feature or not we will just uh, contact to our isp and we will ask that we are using the, this uh, mac clone feature or not if we are this if your isp confirmed that uh, yes we need to configure this feature on this router so we will just click on advance here when and advance here is the mac clone feature we just click on this feature okay and if static ip maclone feature is there so advanced maclone if pppoe maclone feature we will select method advanced there is the maclone feature but first we need to confirm from the isp that we are using this maclone feature okay so these are the some troubleshooting steps so still if you are not getting the internet so just contact to netis support center or put your questions on comment box thank you thanks for watching